Hi guys, I'm Dejan Vujovic from Belgrade, Serbia and I'm here to show you some guitar tips and guitar techniques which can be useful for you in playing flamenco. So everybody wants to play uh, good, everybody wants to play at the concert level but uh, not everybody is capable and not everybody goes to that level and to that extent. So. Uh, some people don't have um, don't have money for teachers for private classes. Some just don't have luck with teachers and with private classes. Uh, uh, some can't afford teacher because of money distance. There are no teacher and they're learning on YouTube over internet and somehow. And this video is mainly uh, for that for. Uh, guitarists who are uh, and, and some medium level so they know for example what is arpeggio what is tremolo what is rasgiato but it doesn't sound well they are not satisfied with their tone and uh, we are here to learn you how to produce the tone and how to be satisfied with um, with your playing so it's very very easy and it's very very hard uh, if you have nobody uh, to learn you it can be very very hard and it can be almost uh, tens of years of playing without any result I figured up some te techniques two weeks ago and I'm playing for 20 years so I want to share you some knowledge uh, which can bring you to much much more higher extent in which you are now so uh, uh, Remember so playing is not uh, something which is randomly or uh, Which you're doing by some sense How do you feel how do you hear you play playing is a system based upon uh, things so playing is a system in context on the guitar playing is a system of vibration of the strings so you are getting a string out of her position like for example can you zoom and you are pushing the string and then pulling the string so you're not doing something which you don't know what to do you must learn that uh, in a guitar playing is a process it's not okay there are geniuses like Paco de Lucia like Beethoven who are uh, uh, who are from God uh, who, are, who are sent from God to how can I say to change the world but there are many people who have great talent but don't have capacities don't have opportunities to uh, to learn how to play the guitar or any other instrument in this case how to play flamenco so we are here to show you in this tutorial who, who will be I think maybe half an hour or maybe 14 minutes to show you some basic techniques to show you how you uh, can um, like how, how you can reach the guitar and how you can uh, some basic techniques how you can approach to the guitar and uh, be much much better than you are so what is exactly a tone a tone is putting the string out of balance so every string has you you have a potential to do with a string whatever you want just that to sounds good so that's something of the main ideas which you can write down so doing the string everything but just to sound good so uh, when it, there is a question about uh, about uh, how can you approach the string we will talk about that uh, you are you are playing you can play with a nail and you can play also with a flash so you can play with this part 
of the finger and you just draw the string to your nail and that the tone so uh, we will so this uh, it's a process the playing is a process the concert playing the high uh, intensive playing it's a process of getting to together many things is the is the behavior of the hand um, and also it's the pushing and behavior of the fingers before they attack the string behavior of the fingers when they are on the strings and behavior of the fingers when they are when they are when they uh, do their job on the string so every three things is important and you must uh, carry about and think, think about every of those three things if you missed one you missed all that's the that's the point so uh, i don't know have you heard but 20 years from now i think 20 years ago uh, I saw, I, I hear some story about that uh, there are some kind of super classes. So some talent or some guy who wants to uh, learn the guitar or some other instrument pays, pays something like 2,000 pounds for one class. And in that one special class, the master uh, tells him something which uh, if he wouldn't, take that class it would be necessary for him for 20 or 30 years to get uh, to that level so that super classes we, there uh, the point is there is a knowledge which is hidden in the guitar uh, there is there are techniques which are hidden uh, there is something which, which I I don't want to tell that people just want to take the money and to show something cosmetically but uh, a learning of the guitar is serious process so it's like and it's like in boxing uh, the boxer must be sure in his punch if he is not sure in his punch if he is not sure that he punches that he can punch uh, then he's not a fighter he uh, he can't get the technique but if he, if he is sure in his punch, if he is sure that uh, he can punch, then he can be a fighter. The same is, is in the guitar. tone if he is sure about how he produced the tone if he is sure about how he build his techniques and how he uh, apply his technique then he can be a guitarist he can make the concert uh, he can play for himself with joy so he must be sure the point is you must be sure what you do you must know what you do uh, there are guys who just tell you something like uh, uh, feel the strings, uh, play something like uh, from the heart. Uh, okay, everything is fine. And there are many, there are many things in like, for example, in picado. Uh, there are many uh, exercises like you are. Like you are uh, start with uh, uh, E finger, then then next series start with M finger. Everything is fine that, but remember one thing: your picado and your apoyando uh, is, is so is good as so as your arpeggio and tremolo are. So arpeggio is the basic of the technique. Arpeggio is the basic of the technique because you are training your fingers in arpeggio to act properly. So that's the basic uh, for your technique. And you must, we, we will now cover some arpeggios and we will now cover 
something which is um, uh, which you need to know about the guitar uh, and we will start uh, now to learn you some playing and we will start with arpeggio so first uh, 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 what you need to know is your position of your hand okay maybe the position of guitar Paco de Lucia holds the guitar like this uh, some guitarists hold the guitar like this. I like this position because I don't have that. Uh, I don't know how to how to pronounce that, but I like this position because it's traditional and it's very old. So the first thing is uh, your hand. Your uh, we are we are talking here about uh, in this session about the right hand techniques. So the first uh, which is important it is your right hand technique. Uh, so, uh, your right hand uh, is, uh, uh, you must know your right hand position. You hold the guitar, you put your thumb and you settle, settle your thumb and you relax your hand. Uh, so, the hand must be relaxed and what you need to know in arpeggio and in every technique, you are playing from the air like this so uh, what why do we are not playing for the strings i played many years from the strings when you put your uh, when you put your uh, fingers on the strings and uh, but playing from the air uh, can make you can give you much more power because there is the root there is something like uh, something like oh excuse me i must see some there is something like uh, a running start of the finger uh, there is something like a running start of the finger and uh, from that running start from that point which is something like uh, I don't know, I think you see my head, it's something like uh, two centimeters or centimeter and a half. You are beating the string. So you have much more power, you have much more, uh, you have much more, how can I say, you have much more um, realization uh, when you are uh, getting and beating the string or touching the string make the string out of balance from uh, from the air not from the strings but from the air it's uh, it's the same in uh, in uh, in tirando in arpeggio in the, so you are beating uh, guitar from the string from the air you're getting you're beating the string from the air so you must understand something the level of playing you are so good player the level of playing is very very complicated because there are many many bones here so uh, you can write down that there are four things in arpeggio we are talking about arpeggio now the behavior so the behavior of the, of the fingers before they hit the string so that's like in to this time the then there is some job on the string so um, uh, uh, finger do some job on the string they pull the string they push the string toward the guitar uh, they push the string uh, uh, i will show you in which uh, in which uh, way you can push and pull the string and they go in the hand so that's very very important uh, so a way on this a way to the string on the string and there is something like which is in the guitar in uh, in um, you are playing from here you are playing from the hand you are not just playing from the uh, from your fingers because uh, playing from here means something like that you have a flamenco it's very very huge flamenco secret uh, i will do this just to show you in some better mode so playing from here from this part 
uh, when you not move this part slightly, it's something like this. One, some rotation. One, two, and three, you're getting out. So one, two, and three, and you are getting out. If you don't do that, uh, you are leaving your muscles to, uh, to crunch. And you are leaving your muscles to, uh, to how can I say, I write down some, to squeeze. And you don't have the power to play then, if you are a uh, behavior in that mode. So when you are doing that, when you are, so you understand. Away to the strings, a, a job on the strings, all the all the fingers go in the head and rotation so away to the strings job on the string rotation and fingers go to the head i will explain why is very important important for fingers to go to the head so for for example everybody knows in flamenco you have that standard so the point is uh, always guys when you play you can play so you I suppose that, that you know what is uh, ascending uh, descending arpeggio ascending arpeggio I will tell you so uh, uh, ascend descending arpeggio is thumb then a M E. I suppose that you know that. So that's the descending arpeggio, uh, or and there is another one uh, arpeggio which is ascending E M A. That's something like which is uh, how can I say for uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, needed to know. But uh, this is for some how can I say much much for some guys who are somewhere stuck in the middle and they can know they don't know what to do. So for example, it looks like this. You're playing a thumb, one, two, three, so, and you stay, fingers stay in the, in the, in the hand, like in some fist. So fingers stay in the head, F fingers don't do this. For example, one goes up, and then when another comes, it goes down no it's not properly fingers must be in the head in in the hand uh, uh, as much as possible so that's one of the secrets of the flamenco guitar when you are playing four one two three four then when you are playing basses you put the fingers down and you do the same so you you don't put the fingers down uh, I, I will uh, tell you much more. Uh, uh, I will tell you the secret. So you can divide your uh, music, uh, the main, uh, the main um, uh, measure in music is one quarter. So the main measure in music is one quarter. And you can divide every part of the music as something like one tone. And remember, if you don't play two tones or three tones, and, and if you are not satisfied with them, you wo you won't be satisfied with dozens of tones. So you must play one tone. You must play uh, uh, one quarter of tones correctly in order to every comp the whole composition to be correctly. Uh, that's the main thing. So uh, remember, guys. So there is one, two, three. Slightly rotation. So rotation be, uh, 
starts with this finger it's one slightly move you can see that when you uh, when you uh, watching uh, some some t uh, some some how can i say uh, videos about when the guitar is not playing you can see so these are secrets which can be seen but you must know them one two three so every move uh, uh, needs some something like some small rotation or some small punch from here some small how can i say like a thunder or if you are feeling one two three so um when you're playing from the string just from listen how how it sounds just playing from the fingers this these are just fingers and these are uh, and this is how is playing uh, from the uh, from the uh, ha from the hand so it's much 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 louder it's much louder so uh, you always understand you are playing from from this part of the exactly uh, of course you are playing also from the from the fingers but uh, uh, you are playing from this part of the hand so th because this part of the hand connects your uh, fingers with your whole body so uh, if you uh, uh, don't use this part of the head there's no good music so you must learn that guys so the point is here uh, that you uh, also so you understand when you do uh, uh, I, I i must come back on one quarter this is one quarter no this is one quarter one two, these are sixteenths. so uh, you can uh, divide when you uh, because that that is important in arpeggio in tremolo that you divide that you divide that these moves so one quarter or four sixteenths for for every quarter when you are playing when you are playing arpeggio when you are playing tremolo you must get all your uh, fingers in the hand so like this not like this not fingers out fingers in so fingers in every quarter etc so the stability of the hand the strength of the hand means uh, that the economy of motions i mean that you heard that term the economy of motions is right so you are you you have a way to the string then job on the string now we will focus on job on the string so uh, your fingers are doing some job on the string uh, how it goes it goes like the finger that it, it don't just touch the string something like this no it stays on the string and it pressures the string so the string is pre can be pressured in uh, I, I can say I, I like to say three ways uh, one way is you are pushing the string toward the guitar and then you are pulling up so push pull push pull that's one way so you can do that like laughing uh, for example this we, uh, we will do some exercise uh, i'm not so very well how can I say I'm not warmed but uh, 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 you can uh, we will look this tone 
this tone. So this is this how it sounds when you when you push the string to the guitar and up. So another way to push the string is you you don't in tirando of course you don't push the string you don't push the string toward the guitar but rather you push the string toward next string much much uh, 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 the closer you can and then so you push toward next upper string and then you free the string so that's the another way that's the another way so you push toward toward the uh, neck uh, higher string and then you release it that's another way and also there is also one way in a string is that you pull the string out of the guitar so there is pulling out so so uh, you must understand guys every tone you produce you must know and you must uh, uh, and you must, uh, how can I say, uh, know what you, are, what you are doing and how you are producing that tone. There's no, oh, I produce the tone, I don't know how. You must know how to produce the tone and for every tone, you must know what you did. Like Adam Del Monte said for Paco de Lucia, every tone is like a hammer. Every tone is accent. Every tone is a science. So the science of music is the science of every tone. Every tone must be, uh, how can I say, be, uh, every tone must be involved and you must think about every tone if you want to be a professional and good player who is satisfied with, with his playing. So you have that three, I will repeat them again, push toward the guitar and then release, then push toward another string and then release and then push out from the guitar and then release so that's are something like free basic you can combine them you can do whatever you want something like There is uh, this piece in uh, pushing in the guitar. There is this piece in uh, pushing toward neck toward next string. And there is uh, the, uh, this piece in pushing out. So you decide what you do. You decide and so what you do and so the important thing is i'm just um, entering something like with, but it's th this session is much much more theory then then is playing you will uh, learn to play much much easier when you pass this something like this session or something like that so that's for the arpeggio we are uh, talking about the most basic of thing arpeggio so we are playing from the air we are doing some job on the string and for from every quarter of tons uh, we are uh, getting our fingers into the uh, into the our head so I must, I write it down, I will. So, <coughs> we were talking about the arpeggio. So uh, we had uh, four basic principles, beating from the air, doing the job on the string, 
pushing, pulling and everything. And all the fingers rest upon the, ha uh, the, the hand for every quarter of the tons. So this is one quarter of the tons, of the tons. And then you pull the, uh, put the, the fingers down, do the job. Then you all, all again in the, in the hand, in the hand, down, in the hand, in the hand. So, uh, it's all, uh, um, the, the hand on the guitar, in the right hand in the guitar playing, it's like some machine who pumps the sound and who, which pumps the sound and which pumps the, the music. So the hand is like some machine. The hand is very, very, right hand is very, very important. So it pumps. So you must know how uh, the whole mo motion, which is something like this. It's like that's some kind of motion. I don't know, like, a grabbing something that's uh, uh, you're playing in that way like you are grabbing a tone you're grabbing a guitar you are grabbing the strings so uh, that's important in the arpeggio so but when you have for example this the six six tolas, you you do this and then you must push these two down and this one stays so I don't know have you seen so from this angle this one stays not goes down then in the hand in the hand so that's like in six dollars some principle and you must learn that so the hand is like the machine and it pumps the music we will also talk about thumb later because it, this will be a session I think that this would be much much easier but uh, the, there is many knowledge which must be uh, shown and uh, so the th that's the point so the point is that you are exactly uh, you are making this moment. So now we are going to tremolo. So Tirando. So, what I uh, have said about the, I will take on this couple, what I have said about uh, the uh, arpeggio, it also means for tremolo. So, I, maybe if, if in case you don't know, tremolo is five stroke tremolo in flamenco and it's a thumb E. A, A, M, A. So that's the tremolo in flamenco. And it's the same principle as in arpeggio. So the fingers are beating the strings from the air. They are doing their job on the string and they are going in the head. So, but in, because that's, the, uh, you must ask yourself why you don't see, uh, why you don't see uh, something like uh, uh, that because it's rare it's very very quick motion but uh, you must know uh, for every motion oh, I'm getting warmed so uh, for every motion uh, it is important 
to know about uh, uh, about uh, uh, which which part is the motion is comprised so this means going to the string doing the job on the string and going uh, rotating of course playing for from this part and going um, in, uh, in the hand so for every circle for example like this in the string in the head in the hand seeing this pattern you, you don't do something like this or going out or this goes this goes uh, this goes up and this goes down no the more uh, fingers are in the hand the better so we will talk about thumb later so that's for tremolo so you must understand that uh, the same principles like pushing the string inside and then pulling or pushing toward neck string and then pulling or pushing out the same principles which you have in arpeggio you also have in tremolo so you must Faruka is um, it is uh, very very similar to Sebika's Faruka. So now we are going. So we pet, so you understand. There is a five stroke tremolo in flamenco. It's always on one string played, and you do the same thing. You rotate. You uh, you get started from the air. You get to the string with power, uh, you do your job on the string, uh, push pull or everything with the string and go in the hand. So, and this rotates when you do that with the fingers. So that's uh, the, uh, some, something like that, some point for your tremolo. And you must learn, know that. So we are going to next uh, technique in uh, i must i must just dr drink water so we are going to ne next technique which is picado so picado or uh, staccato not staccato or picking is a technique with just two fingers and people are falling in love in the There are many exercises in picado, but uh, what is uh, for guys or and for people who don't know, or for girls, uh, of course, picado is when you are pu pushing the string and you uh, uh, you rest your string on the next, you rest your finger on the next string. So everybody knows what is picado. So. You are resting. You re you rest your <laughs> picado is you are alternating your fingers. But uh, I said there are many ways of practicing. And the people want uh, to know how to play fast. So the main point of playing, I told you, the main point of playing picado is that uh, you to have the good arpeggio and the good uh, tirando, the, the good tremolo. So the arpeggio is basic technique for the picado. So... Uh, the point is that uh, every tongue 
like uh, in uh, tremolo or in um, in um, how can I say uh, in arpeggio is produced uh, with pushing the string. So the same uh, the same thing is in picado. So you are pushing the string. Uh, you have many uh, many ways of pushing the string. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, pushing the string in the guitar and then up. So that's one way with every finger with with D and N. And also you have in picado pushing the string down. Also you have that in arpeggio. I haven't spoke that. So not just in the guitar but rather down and you're making some circle you're making a circle with a uh, with a uh, finger and uh, uh, produce the tone in that manner so for the for the picado you must uh, understand that you have the pushing the strings uh, in the guitar down and then making the circle if you want to tend to be much more fuller then you are making the circle with the string. You, so you are making a string to make to make a circle with your hand. That's the fullest tone. So another way. Another way of getting the string is uh, so there is pushing uh, a string and in the into the circle position. There is a pushing to toward the guitar, and there is pushing toward next string, also like in arpeggio. So that if you want a much more crunchy sound, then you are pushing the string toward next. Uh, toward uh, toward next uh, string so uh, you must uh, uh, remember in this technique so it is you must satisfy you must be satisfied with every time so you must be sure sure in every tone so uh, when you are sure in every tone you can have you must something like for picado. Now we are going, I, I hope that you understand. So the same principle, every tone is a science for themselves, for, for, for himself. And uh, if you have every tone, if you control every tone, you have the music. If you don't know what is the tone, if you play randomly, you don't have the music and the instrument doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, hear you. So it doesn't follow. The instrument doesn't follow your heart. There is a, there is a, there is a, something like some which I like to tell in music. You have you can have heart like this, but if you don't have the technique, it's nothing. So the technique is something which is very very useful for you and to get the expression. Now we are going uh, to explain the thumb or pulgar. So it's always rested. The thumb is always rested. It, uh, first, we are going to uh, to explain thumb in arpeggio because we miss that and in tremolo. So the thumb is uh, when you play something like. So the thumb falls to the string below. So with his weight, there is end with end from the head. So the thumb falls. Uh, 
the thumb also uh, the thumb also picks uh, pushes the the string in the same principle as uh, that uh, other things do so you can push the thumb toward the guitar push and pull down and then you can push the thumb out of the guitar Paco some sometimes do that and you can push uh, the thumb near the next string and then you can and then pull and then release so with the thumb you uh, you must um, you must uh, um, accept that with the so you always uh, the thumb is always anchored on the guitar so there is no free uh, there's no free playing of the fingers so for example when you're playing scales thumb is on the on the sixth string when you are playing arpeggios thumb is always somewhere there thumb can be in the air so thumb can be in the air but always finds some uh, way to uh, to uh, be in on some string so because that's for the stability of the hand and for power the economy of a thumb and the motion of thumb are very important so th this is the uh, so for example in tremolo when you have this so thumb falls from uh, thumb falls from um, from oh i forgot oh, sorry a uh, thumb falls from uh, every String. from every string yeah thumb falls from uh, for example like this then this string then falls so it doesn't go like this like you have in classical guitar in every uh, thumb falls from every string to string with his weight so you are or like in sabika so you are uh, you are beating the thumb with a flash and with the nail so like this so thumb falls one two three four one two three four it doesn't go like this so thumb falls and uh, everything is um, under under pressure of the string so it press it presses also the string uh, as uh, other finger press the string so that's when you are playing a thumb uh, in tremolo or in arpeggio thumb part mainly thumb and arpeggio part so uh, I will repeat once more for playing the thumb in arpeggio and in tremolo the thumb rests on much on uh, strings sometimes he's in the air like in this <laughs> is in this case it's in the air but you must uh, uh, you must try to uh, rest thumb on a string as much more as you can so that's one of the rules so you press the string in a manner I have told you and uh, you, there is the falling the falling of the thumb in tremolo when you're playing some melody or so there is a falling falls it doesn't do like this you can do like this so so the thumb falls from string to string that's one of the one of the 
things which are very uh, equal by his own weight. So now we are going to discuss, I, I hope that you understand, I, I have never to, never to add on this, so you must learn, so Tremolo in combination with thumb. So the thumb punches with the weight, with his weight, and with the weight of the hand. So that is important. Now we are going to, we are finishing. Now we are going to discuss only thumb. When thumb punches separately from the techniques of arpeggio and. Uh, and uh, a tremolo. So when something like this. So when thumb goes, uh, when thumb goes uh, to play separately from that technique, he, uh, he can play. It can play a technique of alzapua, for example. Kida, or maybe just a solo part. So there are some rules. So it, it, uh, uh, if you, if this was your position, so position of the hand, as we discussed, is something like near, near this hole, and it is playing on this circle. So the you are playing near this circle. And the position of the thumb, when you play just the thumb, is you put your hand, you put your hand, you, you switch your hand toward this part of the guitar, the end, of, uh, and you do it from your, uh, from this, and uh, from this, um, how can I say that? Um, from this wrist, from this joint. You do this from this joint. So that's very important to have this punch. So when you uh, and you have two parts of, about you should be taking care when you are playing uh, with your thumb is that uh, you can make a, mom, a punch and you can make uh, you can when. For example, like in this, pancreas. So, if you play it and the thumb is rested on the string uh, below, you don't do the, this motion again. When you play that, you just play from the string. So, you can do. This is, this is with it. This is without. For, uh, pull, uh, how can I say? You you just uh, pull. You are pulling the thumb on the guitar. So you are pulling the thumb of the guitar uh, when you are. So you can, for example. Capitulas solea. This is the this is the attack. And then the thumb is rested on the string <coughs> on the string below. So you don't do this, but you rather do this. You just play the note. So if the thumb is rested on the string below. You just play the no <coughs> play the note, and when you're playing a new a new on a new note on that string, you are doing this. So this is the top. So guys. Oh. My voice. So you uh, uh, you are pulling your thumb. You have this 
This is the attack of the thumb. You can play with thumb in, in any string. You can play down. And the thumb always rests on the string below. So, that's the idea. You can play with the thumb some chords, for example. And you must play play like one, like uh, there, this is the chord, but you are playing like one punch. Or for example, in sabikas you have this, uh, this motion for playing the chords. So, it's like this. You are playing like this motion. Carencia Latina. That's the usual how the thumb falls. So it falls for three, for four strings. It doesn't go like this, but it rather falls. Or maybe in Irish Chokeros, Paco de Lucia. So it's like this. Falls, falls, punch. Falls, falls, punch. So uh, I miss some. It, it falls, fall. So this is punch. Uh, when you're playing upper tone with the thumb, it must be a punch. But when you're playing a uh, lower tone on the lower string, it, it, it always, it's usually a fall. So that's something uh, about the thumb, guys. So I hope you understand. So you're playing uh, with this rotation. So you're playing and the hand goes, the thumb goes inside the guitar and the hand goes outside. Because you are pulling the weight from one level uh, to another level so that's something about the thumb uh, or like this so fall santuario punch falls punch fall punch so you have a punch and a fall so punch is like this and it fall and fall is when the thumb fall and it does play it so it pushes the string it push pulls everything in the same as in arpeggio, you also have in the thumb. So, guys, uh, we are we are we finished the thumb, and we must just finish the rasgiados. So. Rasgiado is a technique. I, I, I'm sure that you know what is rasgiado. But uh, one, uh, what you must know in rasgiado is that uh, you must you can play, of course, five stroke rasgiado, and then uh, uh, four stroke rasgiado. So the, the last stroke is always up. That's something which is usual. So you have a punch down or in rhythm. It's, it, maybe it's better to talk something about rhythm. So when you are, when you are playing the rhythm, uh, so uh, the rhythm is first part. When you're playing the rhythm, uh, so you are playing with and you bend your finger uh, to this angle. You don't do this. You go from your hand remains steady as your head always remains steady and you just play. And you go to this angle. You always you you uh, save this angle. So it's very important because of the speed. 
that you remain your angle. It's uh, not to do this, but rather this. In the, for example, like Bulerias. So, this is very, very important. So, you must play, you start playing from this. Some guys do this. You must start uh, playing from this. Uh, from this uh, angle and then you you are you have a down like one up down up so you don't uh, you don't extend your your you don't fix your your uh, your uh, finger your index finger but it's rather bent That's for the index finger, and we will uh, we will now continue to discuss the rasgiado. So rasgiado is the technique of uh, in which you it means separation. So there is, uh, and you must also the the same principle like in. Um, Arpeggio and uh, in tirando are consistent in rasgiado. So you are rotating your hand. You are not doing this without rotation. You are rotating, and in rasgiado you are your uh, your fingers are extended as much more as possible to get a better tone. So you are extending uh, uh, your fingers to get much, much better tone. Then we have triolas. We have also rasgados like A, M, E, A, M, E. No, not A, M, E, uh, but rather uh, P, P, X. comprises of this uh, technique and you also have this E down, E up and X down I hope that you know and you also have this so guys uh, I hope that you know this. The point is, when you play rasgiadas, triolas, and and uh, things like that, the point is that uh, you always play from this part, like in other techniques, and that you play all the strings, and that all strings sound like one. So that is something uh, which is the point in these rasgiados and triolas. And we are finishing now. I because I uh, not uh, uh, tell you something about uh, alzapua. So alzapua is a pulgar technique. So you are playing one tone, then you are playing three tones in one or two tones. A single tone, three tones down, and three tones up, and everything and everything is played uh, with a uh, uh, with a thump. So that's that's the alzapua. So guys, uh, all it is, it is played from this angle. And that's uh, what is important in uh, that things is that you are playing from the wrist, that you are doing with a string what we said, you are pushing, pulling, uh, you are making the string to react, and that uh, you are uh, just uh, 
playing uh, in mode you want. So that was something like, uh, what's the time? Finishes. We are finished. We are, what, what is the time? Petrist. Petrist, okay. So uh, I just want to say something about God helps, like we serve, like to say, we said God helps and the other the other man respond oh god help you so this super class or this class was something like that we want to give be from serbia i want to give for every for every person who likes to to play and if you have some feedback i would like to introduce you our country so our country is, we have many, many monasteries and uh, uh, I will, the biggest sanctuary of Serbia is Hilandar and uh, this video was made in somehow to inspire because it was, Hilandar is the, the biggest uh, Serbian and the most holy sanctuary. Saint Simeon and Saint Sava, they found Hilandar and uh, they, uh, uh, nearly 800 years ago and there was uh, you can check like www.hilandar.org so you can check uh, something like that's the foundation of the Hilandar I will tell you some interesting in few minutes I will tell you some interesting stories because there was the term Hilandar is, um, uh, is a monastery of entering the God's mother uh, in the temple of in the Holy Jerusalem temple, so it's dedicated to God's mother, and it's dedicated dedicated to entering uh, the God's mother in Holy Jerusalem temple. Uh, there are many icons. There are many. There are many. Many things which are very very important. That, that there is a, a a part of the cross in which. Um, uh, Christ was crucified there. There are many, many parts of the saints there. So we would like you to, how can I say, if you have some feedback from this, because there was a terrible, there was a terrible earthquake, not earthquake, there was a terrible fire, and there is now a renewal of the monastery. So if you have some feedback from this video, I will tell you uh, the account. The account is uh, five four four three one one seven four six two four six six. So Eurobank, uh, Vuka Karadžića, Ten Belgrade. Uh, we will we will write you the account. So if you had some feedback from this video, so if you are more sure, if you have a, if you have something like uh, uh, some if you have in heart uh, some need to give something back you can give it back to this monastery so which is in holy mount of ethos i will tell something holy mount of ethos is a monk state only only monks can live in holy mount of ethos and uh, no women can go there it is said that only women which is in Holy Monk of Ethos is the Mother of God. Uh, so, uh, and it's famous because of, there are many monasteries, many things, and it's famous about uh, the prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, the sinner. So, the, the monks from Holy Monk of Ethos uh, are, um, are praying for, they are famous because of, this prayer. You can learn about the Orthodox religions and I, I, must, I will send you so the foundation of the Holy Monastery Hilander, the telephone number is 381 then in uh, then 0 1 1 3 6 2 4 uh, 0, 0 4 and the fax is plus 381 then in 0 in this Brackets. in these brackets 1 1 uh, 3 6 9 0 seven two seven seven nine two so free you can check it on the monastery's website so the fact is three eight one uh zero in brackets one one three six nine oh seven nine two 
So it is specified for couples who don't have children, there is the wine of Saint Simeon. And you can order this wine and with a prayer. There are many children around the globe who uh, have this, you can, uh, you can order these clusters from, uh, from Hilander and you have many children around the globe who are born in this way. So this was some short, uh, you will have some information about this uh, on the YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, channel. channel. And uh, we would like to save you, me and my friend Richard Seller, like to save you goodbye, guys. Come to Serbia and come to see us and all the best and practice and pray. Okay, bye-bye, ciao.